Hi everyone, today we are going to continue learning about Google Slides. Last week I introduced to you Google Slides and you had the opportunity to watch me do some different things on Google Slides and I want to say that I was so excited that people shared Google Slides with me that were not assigned but people took it on themselves, the students, and did some wonderful things. So we're going to continue working with Google Slides. Remember that Google Slides is one of the tools that's in our virtual toolbox when we're working with computers and devices. So this is the, what it looks like when we are using a Google Slide. We went over this last week. It has the presentation and the toolbar here. What we're going to do now is I'm going to show you some different things we're going to do for your assignment today. You're going to practice. In your assignment for today, you will see that you have a Google Slideshow. It's already set up for you. All you have to do is click on it, open it, and it's going to look like this. Once you open it, you can get rid of this themes here. We're not going to talk about themes right now. So we can get rid of that, and now we have our work area. Remember that this is the toolbar, and this is a secondary toolbar. The first thing on this slide you're going to do for this assignment is type your name. Now, the first slide is a title slide, so it says click to add title. So you're going to click right there and click and write your name. You're going to type your entire name, your first and your last name. So I'm just going to type first and last for my first and last name, okay? The next thing, if you'd like, you can change the font. You can use any font you want. So what you could do is highlight what you just typed and then go up here to the font. Notice, just like in Google Docs, that when you hover over something, it tells you what it does, that tool. So this is font, and I can go to any font I have listed here and let's do this one and I can make something a little fancier you can also change it the color of it by clicking on text color and I can make it red okay so that's the first thing you're going to do today don't worry about this if you'd like to put something else here you can put something there too if you want but you don't have to the next thing I want to show you how to do is change the background color Sometimes you don't want just a plain old white slide. So what you do is click anywhere on the screen that does not have a text box. And notice if I'm in the text box, the toolbar looks like this. But if I'm not in a text box, I get a different toolbar here and it says background. This is where I could change the color of the background. I'm gonna click on background and right here it says color. I can click on that arrow and these are all different colors. Notice that this is solid. That means it's just one color solid so I could change it to something like this. Click done and I change the color of the background. Another thing I could do is the same thing, color, but over here I could click gradient. Gradient means that it's not solid, it, it varies. So let's see what gradient does. See how it has like kind of white in the middle? Let's uh, go to this one. I'm gonna say done. And notice how it's shaded. It's darker on the edges and it's lighter in the middle. Okay, so that's the first two things you're gonna do on your slide. You're gonna type your first and your last name and you're gonna change the background color to whatever you like. The next thing is fun. I think the other things were fun also, but what you're going to do is insert a picture. You are going to go up here, where see where it says insert image? You're going to click on that arrow where it says insert image, and you're going to click search the web. When I click search the web, watch what happens. I get another toolbar or box here, and it says search for images. 
we're going to search for something that we like. So you're going to give me or put in a picture of something that you like. I am going to put in knitting because that's one of my hobbies. And I'm going to insert a picture of this. And I'm going to look, I can scroll down and look at all the different pictures. Hmm. I think I like this one. So I'm going to click there. Notice now that down here it says one selected and it says insert. Insert means put in. I'm going to click insert and watch what happens. There's the picture of the knitting. Now the problem is it covered my words. Notice here that it, there's a box around it and there's little um, squares that show that you could do something. What I'm going to do is click on it and make my arrows and drag the picture to make it smaller. I think I need it to be a little bit smaller because I want my name to show. Now I can also, if I'd like, click here and maybe move this up a little bit so I can make the picture bigger. I can resize things so that I can have what I want showing without covering things. So I have to play around with this a little bit. And there's my slide. You are going to do that now. You are going to use the slideshow that's in your assignment. You're going to add your first and your last name. You are going to change the background co color and you're going to insert a picture of something you like. Have fun with this. You can be as creative as you like and you can add other things, but this is what you must have in your slideshow. As always, if you have any questions, just send me a private message in Google Classroom and I will respond as soon as possible. I hope you have a great week.